Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ from college basketball where Notre Dame head coach Mike Bray will retire at the end of the season. Now, Bray is the winningest head coach in Notre Dame history. He's been in charge of the Fighting Irish since the year 2000. During his 23 seasons in South Bend, Bray has led Notre Dame to the NCAA tournament 13 times. For more on the announcements, let's bring in the Ion College basketball host, uh, Matt Norlander. Matt, first I'll get your reaction to the news that Mike Bray has announced his retirement at the end of this current season. I am, I'm not surprised. The, the timing of it actually landing here on a Thursday is obviously surprising. But given how Notre Dame, which I actually had, I, I had Notre Dame 25th in my preseason rankings heading into the season. The Fighting Irish aren't a top 75 team in the sport at this point. Uh, it had gone south far enough that I'm not surprised this is the case. I spoke with Mike Bray in the offseason about his team expectations, and obviously they were much better than this. And I go back to conversations I've had with Mike multiple times over the past four or five years, multiple times with Mike, because he said this stuff on the record with me, and I've, I've held him to account of it. He said, Matt, I, I, I'm going to coach here through the end of my contract if they'll have me that long, and then I'm leaving. And I believe that was through him being at the age of 65. He's 63 now. And this is just going to be a parting of the ways there because Notre Dame does need a it needs a jolt. It needs a refresh there. Mike Bray is a is a tremendous coach. He took Notre Dame to back to back elite eights. That 2015 team, I was there in person in Cleveland. Notre Dame almost ended Kentucky's perfect season before Wisconsin did one game later in the tournament. That team with Pat Connaughton, Zach August, Jerry and Grant, really good team. And there aren't just a lot, there are not a lot of guys like Bray in the sport, Jeremy. He was and is as comfortable in his own skin, as open and honest and transparent on the record with the media as pretty much anyone else in the sport. In fact, I would argue the way that he is wired and how he's just always willing to say what's on his mind, uh, it's really more from a throwback kind of age. And uh, so he will certainly be missed. I'm, I'm speaking on behalf as a reporter who covers the sport. I wish more coaches were like Mike Bray in terms of that approach. Uh, but nevertheless, he has had a really good career. And even though Notre Dame isn't that good right now, in totality, winning as coach in Notre Dame history. And certainly uh, he will be appropriately applauded and cheered in his final two months on the job. Yeah, sitting at 1-7 and seven in the ACC, they are 9-10 and 10, uh, overall uh, this season. As mentioned, uh, 13 of his 23 seasons he's made the tournament. Matt, how would you characterize his 23 seasons with the Fighting Irish? Uh, genre shifting. I mean, he started uh, at Notre Dame at a time when Notre Dame was not in the ACC. It is now. It was in the Big East. Uh, in fact, his career, a real quick, quick story on this. You know, he started um, really his ascent when he was promoted to be a Duke assistant by Mike Krzyzewski. And he was, the until the John Shire era, he was the last non-Duke family member to get uh, an assistance perch at Duke. And he only did it because he once told me it was Mike Krzyzewski, Mike's wife, Mickey, and, and Mike Bray all in a car. They went out to dinner and then they're in the car ride. And Mike's just not sure. Shashevsky's uh, not sure if Bray is the kind of guy uh, that he's going to hire or not. And Bray was just so affable and so convincing that, um, as Mike Bray told the story to me, uh, Shashevsky's wife said, What are you doing? The, you know, what, he's going to be the guy. Stop, stop fooling yourself. You're going to hire this guy. Well, he does hire Bray to Duke. He's on the sideline for those. Final four runs in the early 90s. He runs that into the Delaware job, and then he was hired uh, in the turn of the century here to, to coach Notre Dame, and he has transformed the program for sure. I mean, he, he passed Digger Phelps on the all-time wins list at that school, which was a major, major deal when he did that in recent seasons. So this will be a very coveted job when it comes open. Not the easiest job. I mean, it's Notre Dame. It's, it's, it's plenty tough, and it's in a, it's in a good ACC but uh, he's the best coach in the history of that program, even if, or at least the winningest, even if he never got them quite to a Final Four. They had a lot of teams that were, that were very fun to watch, and Bray was always willing to adapt his coaching style. I did a story on him just last season about how he was changing his approach in practice, listening to his players, and always willing to adapt year by year. Some coaches are successful. They get stuck in their ways, and that can be a good thing or it can be a negative thing with Bray. 
just simply wasn't ever the case. And uh, you actually see in that photo there, the guy just to braze right in that picture, that's Martin Inglesby. He's currently the coach at Delaware, and he will be on the short list of three to five names that I think will get the most consideration to eventually take over for Bray when that job opens in March. Certainly some big shoes to fill. Uh, Matt Norlander joining us here on CBS Sports HQ to talk about the breaking news. Notre Dame basketball coach Mike Bray announcing he will retire at the end of this season. Thanks, Matt. Great stuff as always. And for more on this, certainly they'll be talking about uh, Bray's time at Notre Dame and the attraction of this Notre Dame job. You heard Matt mention uh, one name at least that could be on that short list. Be sure you're tuning into the Eye on College Basketball podcast. You can download and follow wherever podcasts are available or simply scan the QR code right now. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.